Welcome, welcome everyone to Dakota Does Dressage. So Dakota is the horse. I am the rider. My name is Andrea. And I wanted to share with you our first ever Western dressage test. And this is the WDAA Intro Test 2. And I submitted this as a virtual test uh, for the Better Dressage Scores June 2022 show. And I just wanted to walk you through what score we got, um, scores throughout the test, comments we got from the judge, and overall comments. Maybe it'll help you if you're just getting started in Western dressage as well. So you can see it is an incredibly windy day when I filmed this. This was back in mid-June. And I'm using a Pivo and just filming off of my iPhone 12. And luckily it doesn't get blown over during this test. <laughs> and, and that's why it got submitted. It survived. Um, definitely not our best test ever, but it was decent. So here we go, entering at the working walk at A, um, up to X where we're gonna halt and salute. We got a six and a half here. The comment was left of center line, which yeah, right about now is when he starts drifting left. And you can see how uneven my stirrups are, which she didn't comment about, but I certainly would have if I were the judge. Um, but she also said I did a balanced halt. So that was pretty good. Between X and G, develop a working jog. Uh, you can see he's kind of not sure what I'm asking for there. Um, she said shoulders could be straighter between X and C, but I got a six and a half. Track right at C, working jog, and then at B, do a circle to the right, 20 meters at the working jog. I was pretty happy with this. He's a little behind the bit, he's mouthing, um, but I got a six and a half, and they do that times two, so that's a 13, with a comment of the pole being a little low during the second half. So yeah, you can see he's getting behind the vertical here, um, starting to lose the impulsion in his hind end. Proceed until F, where we transition down to a working walk and then halt at A for four seconds. And I got a six and a half here with a comment of maintain march, which I'm guessing just means he needs a little more forward motion at the walk here. Like I can tell he's getting really slow. He might be anticipating that halt a little bit. Uh, doesn't halt square, and I can tell he's got his head up in the air. He's looking at some farm equipment that's moving around because they are picking up hay in the field next to us as I'm doing this test. Uh, she didn't comment about this, but I don't walk all the way to K, which I, I would have commented about, but KXM, change rain, uh, and do a free walk, and then M, continue with a working walk. So I got a six here times two is 12, with a comment of lower the base for, of the neck for even greater stretch. Yeah, he didn't really stretch down that well. Um, that's definitely something we just in general need to work on is him stretching into the contact and accepting contact. So at C, halt for four seconds and then proceed working walk. And he doesn't immobilize here. He's moving his hind foot. I'm being attacked by an insect. He's moving his head around, but I did get a six with comment of not square, but willing move off. And then between C and H, develop a working jog. I got a seven here and I was really happy with this transition and got a comment of prompt. And then at E, circle left 20 meters at the working jog. This is not his favorite direction. You can see he was already mouthing at the bit and twisting his head around. He's doing better here. Uh, but we got a six and a half times two, that's 13. Um, with a comment of slightly behind connection during the second half. But I was happy that he did a good job maintaining his speed. He wasn't completely all over the place, and you're going to see a tractor driving up next to us. And that really did, you know, he doesn't spook at it, but it distracted him. You're going to see I'm like really using my outside leg to get him over and not successful there. We're way off the center line as we come down at A. But we did get a six here. Uh, with a comment of slightly off center line, some loss of straightness in the halt. So you break down to a working wall to X and then halt and salute at G. So you can see he's not, not straight there. You can see all four feet. But overall, for our, our first ever test, I was happy with that. 
So you'll see me awkwardly move him around in front of the PFO for the end of the test kind of like, you know, review of my tack and equipment. And I'll tell you about our collective marks. So for gates, we scored a seven. For impulsion, we got a six and a half. For rider's position, seat, and hands, a six and a half. For rider's correct and effective use of the aids, we got a six and a half with comments of more elastic elbows and work to improve center line straightness. And I totally agree. I have this really bad habit of stiffening through my elbows and that's definitely not helping our connection at all. And then uh, for harmony, we got a seven and a half and you multiply that times two, so a 15. So we got 118 points total and a score of 65.556%. But I know there's a lot of summer ahead of us and this was just really motivating and gave me a clear idea of some things that we could easily be working on, you know, above focusing on the obvious like bending and suppleness and starting to look into more impulsion and collection. So I hope you found this really helpful, motivating, inspiring. If you are getting started in Western dressage as well, drop me a a comment, let me know what you're working on, maybe if you're having struggles with your horse and uh, that could inspire any future content I might think of sharing. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune back in for more tests this summer and some vlogs as well. Bye everyone. (laughs) 